All right, hi everybody, this is Robert Marcello, and today I am at the uh, Roland Showcase store in San Jose, California. So today I'd like to show you the brand new Roland VG99 guitar processor. At first, let me play a little bit, showing you guys some of the amazing things you can do with the VG99, and then we can break it down and I can explain it for you. This first patch I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to play two different guitar sounds at the same time, a clean guitar and a distorted guitar. And I'm going to use what's called the D-beam function, to freeze one of the guitars, the clean guitar, it's going to sustain. And the D-beam I'm going to activate by just flipping my guitar neck over the VG99. It's very good when you want to do rock poses. You can just flip your neck on stage. Okay, so we're going to do this in the very dramatic key of G minor, the third saddest of all keys. So here we go. Clean guitar sustaining. change chord to the very dramatic F major. All right, we can also use the D beam to work as a vir virtual whammy bar because you see on this guitar I have no whammy bar but what if I want to do some crazy 80's rock and roll tricks very difficult without the bar but with the, with the D-beam very easy Very handy. The D-beam can also control actually any parameter in the VG99. So I could set the, the D-beam to control my delay rate or reverb room size and control just by moving my hand above the D-beam. And the VG99 is the only guitar processor in the world that can do any of this. So, all right, next thing I want to show you is the ribbon controller. And many guys look at the VG99 and go, hmm, what is that thing, this crazy thing? And it's really an awesome feature. Uh, on this patch, I have it set to control a filter, and I'm going to play a chord, nice sounding chord hopefully, and I'm going to tap the ribbon controller, and uh, let me just play it and you can hear what it sounds like. <laughs> And just like the D-beam, the ribbon controller can also control any parameter you want. So you can have whenever you tap it or slide your finger on it, it could control anything from your preamp gain to uh, harmonizer uh, intervals. So any, anything you can imagine is possible with the VG99. Okay, first let's look at some patches in the VG99. The first patch I want to show you is um, a Fender Stratocaster guitar model into a, a Fender Twin amplifier and the sound you're going to hear I could never get just out of my guitar alone because this is a humbucker guitar really f for good rock stuff. Okay, if I wanted to play something really stratty sounding, guitar players know stratty, um, I could never get that sound out of here really of this humbucker because you know strats have single coil pickups. So we're going to model a Fender Stratocaster with a single coil obviously into a Fender Twin Amp and it sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, so right now we're going to go straight from the Fender Strat with the Clean Twin to two acoustic guitars, 12 string, tuned to Dadgad. Next, for all you heavy metal guys, this is a baritone guitar. Squeal's excellent. 
On this next patch, we're going to model two guitars at the same time. So on one side, we have a Telecaster through a Fender Twin. On the other side, we have a Stratocaster model through a Twin. And I use a little bit of slapback <laughs> echo and a compression and a little bit of, uh, of spring reverb to make it that mean, spanky sound. And it could sound like this. <laughs> Okay, so, so far, we've heard a lot of amazing guitar sounds from the VG99. In addition to guitars, we can also model basses, banjo, sitar, and uh, a lot of analog, early synth stuff. But first, I'd like to show you now how to combine guitar and bass. You can get some really amazing sounds. So for this patch, my four bottom strings is a guitar, and my two lower strings are... Um, a bass, and it could sound like this. On this patch, we have a sitar on, on channel A, and on channel B, we're going to have a pad. And let's play them separately first. This is just what we're going to have on channel B. And on channel A, we have this. The sitar. So now let's put them together and see if we can come up with some happening sounding stuff. Next, I want to show you um, a, a patch with two guitars at the same time tuned to open G tuning because one of the really great advantages of the VG99 is that we can tune each string up or down two octaves because we're using the uh, GK3 pickup and uh, I'd like to clarify one thing that's a big misconception uh, by a lot of guitar players that uh, they say, oh, the tracking is pretty good. Actually, there's no tracking going on right now. The VG99 is just a processor. It works the same way as plugging into a stomp box. So all this is, is six analog humbuckers, just like the one we have here on the guitar. But because I won for each string, it allows me to change the pitch. So in this patch, we're using a um, Telecaster into a Vox amp and a Stratocaster into a Clean Twin. And um, I wanted to simulate the sound of uh, Keith Richards from the Rolling Stones, who is my biggest guitar hero of all time. And he usually takes off his low E string off his guitar, so I took mine off too, uh, digitally. It doesn't work anymore. And my other strings, I tuned to an open G, and it could sound like this. Love that stuff. Keith, if you ever watched this, you are the greatest. Thank you.